with the Portland Timbers and Phil Neville. He sends a 3-4-3 formation, making some changes in the personnel. With a formation of 4-2-3-1, uh, with Jeremy Ibobisi being the target man on top. Sunny afternoon here at Portland, and let's roll. We are underway from the Temple of Dreams. Portland Timbers in the all green, attacking from left to right in your screen. Soccer playing on their home field. So there's a, bit, a little bit more pressure for Timbers. Going wide. There's a shot from distance. Asprilla as he was found by Evander. No Jonathan Rodriguez tonight. Evander back in the starting lineup. Here with the corner kick. Asprilla tries to run it back. There's one David Mosquera. Goes out wide, creating a dangerous spot next to the box, opening wide to Sakiris. Great pass now to Pellegrino! And the flag is lifted. The ball is in the back of the net, but this won't go in the scoreboard. Yes, Pellegrino is in an offside position. It is clear here when the ball is played by Nico Shakiri. Uh, he got a corner kick. A little bit more from Jeremy Bobisi doing that, Rodolfo. Not being only the target man, but drop a little bit to come by with the midfielders. Espinosa. And the header of Pellegrino! Goal! For San Jose! Amal Pellegrino finds the back of the net after the rebound! was in a position to allow Pellegrino to make contact with that ball and score the first one. Yes, and Pellegrino was in a good position and that will be dangerous for them. And here comes Hernan, Maxim Crepo is on One moment to use your talent. Keep an eye on Lopez. Okay, he doesn't have control of the ball. He's not facing forward. This is the right cue for me. Carlos Acapo gets it back. As Espinosa on the right, prefers with the left foot, and then slams right into the post! A scorcher from Hernan Lopez. What quality can we see from the Argentine? Even instructions, again, a capo finding, it was Chiquitis, I thought it was uh, Hernan Lopez with those bright yellow shoes, but it was, uh, no, it was Lopez, I'm mistaken. A little deflection to get the corner kick. Let's see if they can take advantage of it. Ball is in, headed inside by Felipe Mora, what a save by Yarbrough. Ball still in play, looking for Kamal Miller, Santi Moreno at it again. Shut up. Anthony leads it to his countryman, Evander slams it from distance, but not enough power to Chara. Mosquera now. The man from Cali, Colombia, finding Santi Moreno. Miller slams it, leads it to Mosquera, Felipe Mora! Oh my God. It's one of those nights! What a save by Bruno Wilson, miraculous! The flag is lifted, but San Jose, they don't care. What? Is there a handball? Is the hand in a natural position or not? Because that will, that will be the key point to make the decision. To me, Wilson's right hand is in a natural position and he's not making himself big to deny the possibility of the goal. This is a, t a tough one for the referee. There is no offside there. Take a look at number four. The ball just lands right in his right hand side, but from the spot, San Jose with 10 men. Whistle is blown. Here's Evander! What a clean execution by the Brazilian to get the first one for the Timbers. And we have a new game. Yeah, we have a, uh, a deficit in terms of personnel, but we don't need to sit back. We don't need to play in a low block. Evander. Here's Rodriguez, just slams it and he gets it! What a movement by Jonathan Rodriguez, the linking, 
Evander playing simple, showing that magic, that talent. What a great finish by the Uruguayan, doing what he does best, which is running from the outside to the inside, that diagonal run. As the Portland Timbers recover the ball and they immediately switch into attack mode. Evander with a great ball to Rodriguez. Ooh. And this could be a huge call. Oh, wow. Is wow. it the other way around? As Jarbro and Rodriguez are both on the ground. This is a, an important decision. What a ball by Evander. Through ball. I mean, to, to me, this is a PK. William Jarbro didn't even touch the ball. Jonathan Rodriguez won the position. He makes contact with the ball. There's always something. Let's hear for the final decision. After a review, goalkeeper commit a foul inside the penalty area while challenging for the ball. The final decision is a penalty kick. And Portland Timbers will have a shot for a comeback after a 2-0 deficit. And now it'll be Felipe Mora against William Yarbrough. The whistle is blown. Yes, Mora! With a controversial decision at the end of the game. Just Maxime Crepo couldn't believe it. What was going on here? Santi Moreno. Moreno. Moreno to Rodriguez. This one led to Jonathan Rodriguez's goal. The fourth one for the Timbers. Great finish by the Uruguayan. Better assist by the Colombian. So the goal stands. It is confirmed after review by VAR. And the final whistle is blown. After nine games winless, they are back on track with the three points. Timber Joey celebrating in a huge comeback. And the Quakes.